Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the We're So Young podcast. Today, I'm here with Tim, who is one of the four owners of K Rico Coffee, which is a coffee shop right off of Hollywood Boulevard in Hollywood, Florida. And they also have a stand in one of my favorite places, the Green and Yellow Market up in Hollywood as well. Hey, Tim, how you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing really, really well. Do me a favor. Tell me, tell me about K Rico. First of all, let's talk about how this super cute coffee shop came to be. So, it goes back really. I mean, not too far. It was about six and a half years ago that we had a completely different plan of something that we wanted to do. We wanted to do more of like a food truck, but it really kind of led to that because early early legal troubles that my brother and I faced that were unfortunate but you know you go through things and you grow through things right most importantly and so you basically took that experience and just were like I need to find a way to like make this into a positive yeah and, you know, and I think it was it was shout out to my stepdad for like taking that chance like you know what not he's not even my real boys you know like this is my wife's kids they had some problems and he put a lot on the line you know he took a big leap of faith and you know it wasn't so much that like i joined a family business he was just kind of like yo look you kind of have an opportunity like if you want to take it take it and that's awesome so the four owners of k rico are yeah. you your brother your mom and your stepdad yeah yeah so so why why coffee so you said you wanted to start off as a food truck but what, what's the deal with that my stepdad originally went to culinary school oh okay yeah, so he's a pretty good chef he's always wanted to do like a healthier style burger healthier style fry stuff like that and that's kind of what we had in mind i was gonna go full force ahead with them because like i said like i had legal tr- troubles not even the army you know, I went to the recruiting office. They were like, yo, listen, we can't take you. You know, you have a felony, and it's tough. So my stepdad was like, you know what, let's do something. You know, you could help out if you want. You know, you and your brother could help out, and let's build something. Like, we got a good idea. Let's make it happen. That's amazing. So it was food trucks, you know, because, I mean, he's always been in food, and, you know, we could do, like, a burger and fry, like, a healthier style. It's mm-hmm. not something that's really being done too much on the food truck scene. It's only like bad stuff right you know so it would have been cool but story switched so so wh- how did the story switch what ha- what happened that made you guys kind of <clears throat> it was it was a christmas present my <laughs> mom got my stepdad i thought it was ridiculous a coffee roaster and i'm like i don't know who would want a coffee roaster i didn't even know what a coffee roaster was at the time all i just knew was coffee She's like, nah, you know, he likes little gadgets like that. So, like, whatever, I mean, I guess. So, happened, and he loved it, roasting coffee at the house. Has such, like, a crazy smell. If you smelled it before, you know, you would know what I'm talking Mm -hmm. about. But it smells so awesome and weird at the same time, coffee being roasted. But he was doing that, and the joke was that the best coffee in South Florida was in our, like, little apartment. Okay. And... I mean, I agree with it, but it was because it was fresh. It wasn't that it was the best, like, coffee bean or anything like that. It's right. Fresh. And so what makes it fresh coffee? Like, what's The shelf that life. It has a shelf life. Same way everything does. Like okay. A, a croissant. I like to think of it like a croissant or like a fresh cookie. Mm-hmm. We've all had one of those. That yeah. were, like, just out of the oven. If you have it three weeks later, it's not saying that it's not edible, but it's not the same. Right, it's not as it's not as good. It's not the same. So, so he gets this this coffee machine, which you actually have here at the at the shop. Yeah. Is it? Do you use it here? Nah, it's no. kind of like for looks. Nice, for nice. People, which you know, we'll, even us sometimes like I'll be in a bad mood and I'll look at that and it's like, damn, like. Nice. This whole place <laughs> is like. <laughs> yeah, and I want to talk about the aesthetic of the shop because I think that's really what drew me in the first time I I came in, but. Uh, so you get this, you get this machine, yeah. or your stepdad gets this machine. You start He's brewing some this. good, co- some good coffee, yeah. and then, and then what happened? Like, 
You were like, the this plan, is it. The plan was the food truck. Obviously, you drink coffee every morning. We were drinking our coffee, and, like, you know, it was funny. We would drink our coffee, we would go out, and we'd just be like, why can't anyone have our coffee outside? Like, we were at a farmer's market trying to source vegetables and stuff like that that we were going to use for the burger. And I wasn't there. I'm, my mom, it was my mom and my stepdad, and they said all the coffee sucked. There was nobody doing fresh coffee. And they were just kind of like, rather than throwing about $200,000 out there for a food truck and getting all this kicked up, we could literally get a table <laughs> that we have at the house, a couple bags, and we don't even got to sell by a cup to sell fresh bags of coffee that we right. just roasted ourselves. And it was just like something that, it's bizarre because it really wasn't being done yeah, like that on that farmer's market scene, which it should be. Everything's fresh. Right. You get honey right out of the beehive. Your fucking fruit. Sorry. The, the, you can curse. The, your, the fruit still has, like, dirt from the farm. Like, you know, you're, you're, you're in touch with freshness. And yeah. You should have fresh coffee there. It makes sense. So so did it start off at she, being my, just a My mom was just like, you know what, let's do it. She called me, and it was just kind of like, we don't really have to invest much into this. Like, we could literally just start it. I mean, it's, yeah. It's, you know? So she, I remember she Talk first called me. Faith, she man. called me. She was like, you know what? I remember I was, I was, I was literally, like, just chilling, and she's like, Tim, we're going to do coffee. And I'm like, all right. I was like, Mom, I feel you, like. This co- our coffee's really good. <laughs> but, like, how I've never bought a burger and a coffee before in my life. Like, when have you bought a burger with your coffee? And she's right. just like, nah, we're just going to hold off on the burger. It's like, we can start this, like, tomorrow. And I'm like, I still didn't really get it. <laughs> so it was it was an idea, and we literally moved on it just as quick as, like, the thought came. You know, we went to the market, and they were like, no. There's too many people in here selling coffee. And this is like, my, my stepdad went in there and my mom were in the car. And then they tell him there's too many people selling coffee. So they're like, no, you guys can't do it. Because then we were like, you know what? Let's prepare. If we were going to invest money, let's buy a small little espresso machine. Right. And let's bring it in. So they're like, no, we can't do coffee. There's too much coffee. My stepdad comes to the car. He's like, yeah, we can't do it. We got to look for another market. Okay. So we're like, yo, the yellow green was the spot to be. Yeah. That's the best market in I South Florida. I love it. It's so cute. That's the best market it's in South best, Florida. Yeah. Honestly, like, I don't know. I've been to even other states. And, like, that market is, that market so is amazing. It, I feel it, like if, if, the, if the whole world, if every community had a place like that, everything would be different. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It actually reminds me. It has, it's a very, like, European feel to it yeah. when you're in there. Like, it really does feel like just a market that you would go it's to crazy. in, like, Barcelona or Spain. Yeah. It's crazy. It's like a different world. Mm-hmm. Different world of people that you meet in there. Think about it. You can be anywhere on a weekend. If you choose to be in that place, I like you. Like, yeah. I don't even know you yet, but we, we go vibe. It's, yeah. It's an interesting, yeah. You're right. The people there are interesting, but it's just, like, it's such a like light energy yeah. to walk around, yeah, and it, you can literally eat anything. Anything. You, anything. It's, it's like dangerous because you spend money. Oh yeah. You're like, Yo, oh yeah. I need my cards to Clyde. <laughs> yeah. I got money on here. <laughs> um. So yeah, we were like, you know what? They told that he he gets in the car and he's like, yo, there's too much coffee being sold in there. We can't do it. And my mom was like, nah, like we are not gonna take no for an answer. Like we we've been going through so much. Yeah. Go in there and see what we can do. Just we sell only bags. So he was even like, nah. And I'm like, yo, come on, we'll make this guy do this something he don't want. My mom's like, yo, go do it. Like, <laughs> go do it. Go see what we can do. Maybe we'll just sell bags. We're gonna sell it by the cup. So he goes back in. All in all, they said you could come in, sell it cold, not sell it hot. The coffee. That coffee. Okay. And you can sell bags of coffee. Okay. Those are the restrictions. So we're like, all right, we can't sell it hot. We can sell it cold. Which is South Florida. So Which like, is South Florida yeah. is not that bad. But it was also like November and it happened to be a little chilly out. We're like, hmm. Okay. <laughs> it's still going to be a little weird. That one day. This is South Florida. Day. Yeah, we're like, no, no, this is South Florida. Like, we'll be good. That's actually not a bad thing. Yeah. It gets hot in that place anyway. Right. Oh, yeah. Boom. We'll do it. Thought of a couple like frappes and cold brew. And we're using this. Fresh coffee. And, and it was just like everybody everybody that tried it was just like, yo, what is this? I mean, I love the coffee. It's so good. 
Is that so? You guys put videos on your Instagram, which I'm gonna I'm gonna link up the Instagram to the descriptions. Um, but is that what you guys are doing in those in those videos? You're I don't know. It's like you I don't even know what you're doing. You guys are like pouring something into something else and like. I don't know. <laughs> I'll show you. I'll show you. Yeah, I'll, show you. I'll be like, I'll be like, this. this it's one it's a process. I mean, it goes. You take these green coffee beans, and you put them, you put them in something, and it's literally just hot air applied to it, and it pops. It's it's almost the same process as popcorn, and it'll pop into a brown little coffee bean. As soon as that thing pops into that brown coffee bean, as soon as it goes from green to brown, the shelf life starts. And it's alive, and then it dies. So you do it's that, the and, of it. and you do it every morning. No, not every morning. Oh, we'll okay. do it enough for like the week. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's still, that's like that's great. What yeah. did do you guys have like a set day? We try to do like Thursday, Fridays. Nice. But now that we're open seven days a week, at first, the first six years we had it down packed, but we were only open Saturday, Sunday. Right, because you were just at the market, right? Yeah. Uh, how did you guys come up with the name? K, so K Rico is anglicized, right? To like K Rico, right? So it's K Rico was was taken, the LLC. Uh, the coffee shop. That name. Oh, the name, right? Was taken. So it's gotta so, be like a coffee shop or some, or something. So yeah, so you. So we sat there. My stepdad's a writer. Oh, perfect. This dude, he should be here. <laughs> I know. He's like I was the whole story. Would... That dude's at work right now, though. He still works <laughs> Hustling, at American. Over 30 years. Wow. He's been there. It's the same job. I'm not even 30 years old. I couldn't even imagine the same job for 30 years. I know. Shout out to him. But <laughs> telling, he put on a lot on the line for this. He believed in it. And it's unfortunate. You know, people go through stuff, but you got to grow through it, too. Yeah. And he... Fortunately, he knew that we were worth more than what the paper said we were worth. Right. Because you read the paper, and then you look at the person, and you're like, yo, I'm not even going to give this dude my back. People end up in unfortunate events. Yeah. You know, and sometimes and it's tough because not everyone has that person to take that leap of faith. Right. In them, you know. Yeah. No. I'm and, so and I'm fortunate for that. And you're, you know, you, to have such a fun, like, foundation and such a good support system that's also such a big thing you yeah. know because i feel like he's passing on things on to you and your brother that like you know it's kind of like the old like i can show you the like i can give you water or i can show you like the ponds i was there. exactly um, exactly no that's I give you a fish or i can show you how to fish he was like yo i'm gonna show you how to fish yeah yeah no he that's brought us, like a brand new fishing pole and he was like yo let me show you this and he literally steps back, you know. So even since day one, I mean, I've been at it the past seven years of my life, just like dedicated. I believed in it since day one. Right, so right. It's been cool. So you, so how did it start to grow? Like what, what ended up happening? So you, you got a little table. Did you yeah. end up getting the espresso machine? We ended up getting the machine. A okay. couple months went by. Someone left, and they were like, you know what? You guys can sell hot coffee now. Oh, like, nice. Okay. So now we started, like, expanding our menu, doing different drinks. The Bulletproof Coffee is, like, that thing blew up. It's, like, a espresso, coconut oil, unsalted grass-fed butter, and then we put a little bit of almond milk. Oh, my God. That sounds delicious. I haven't had it's that. It's crazy. You haven't had that? No. I'm making you that next time. Okay. It's good. Deal. But that blew up. I mean, the farmer's market is, like, a health-conscious place, you know? Right part of like the keto diet too so mm -hmm. people are like it was a it was like a cool thing for a while now it's kind of like dying off They're yeah like, oh you drink bulletproof coffee but you know back in the day everyone was like on that wagon i haven't yeah I, i'm surprised i haven't heard about it it's cool it's it's yeah. a good drink i mean i feel like all those things if you use the right ways in the right amounts is cool yeah but too much coconut oil wouldn't be good. Or, That's right, yeah. Is it strong? Butter. I mean, it tastes good. Yeah? It tastes good. good. With a little bit of brown sugar, it tastes like a dessert. Ooh. If you think about it, it has butter, oil, oh sugar, my God, yeah. <laughs> coffee. Yo, one day I'm drinking it, and I'm like, yo, this feels like a dessert, because we whip it up. Oh, nice. It's all whipped up, so it's, like, thick. Oh. You drink it, and I'm like, yo, this is like a dessert, and I'm thinking in my head, like, how do you bake a cake? You use yeah. oil, butter. Sugar, but you can even <laughs> you can even like use that to like drizzle on like desserts and stuff yeah. for like a future menu thing. You're you know? right. 
It's crazy. Which would be cool. Which would be super that, cool. That thing took off, and it just kept going. But at, at the end of the day, I feel like it's bigger than the cup, you know. And I learned that. Like, I feel like the experience is everything. Right. You know, like, you can get a coffee anywhere, you know. But if you stop here, I got to show you why you should come back. Right. Uh-huh. Right. And I, I definitely, that, like, the vibe in, because the first time I, I, I had coffee from K Rico was actually at the market. Really? Mm-hmm. I'd gone to the market, and I'd just recently moved here to, like, this area. And I'd seen this place, but, like, I hadn't stopped because it's normally on the other, like, yeah. my it's the opposite direction for me. And then I had the coffee, and I was like, oh, this is good. And then I stopped in one day, and it just felt like so – it's just, like, so homey. Like, how would you – first of all, the vibe in here is, like, rustic – um, what is it, like steampunk rustic? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Who came? Who came up with that? Because I, I, I actually love that. <laughs> yeah. Mister Justo Mendez also gets the credit for that one. Because it's, um, he's it's always, so cool. He's always like that whole steampunk look. It, yeah. I mean, it's so cool. Yeah. Like I, I love and. This has been his idea for like years before we even got this place. We've been collecting these gears and clocks and lamps we've had them all over the house people come in like <laughs> we have random things all over we're like yo we're gonna have the shop one day we're gonna have the shop one day like we that's believed awesome. in it that much like we had stuff already bought for the shop before we had the shop that's amazing that's amazing the customer, i, I like, love that one of our day one customers he's the one that got us into this place he came to us like yo hollywood needs a coffee shop i own a place right off the island right off i-95 like Hollywood needs a coffee shop. He was like, you guys are going to open right. with or without me. He was like, I've been with y'all from day one. He was followed us. Yo, that man right there, right? The crazy thing about it, since day one, that machine back there, that's the first machine we had. He drank from every single espresso machine we had because he was with us since day one. That's cool. And he came to us like at the market one day like, yo, I have a spot. You guys are going to blow up one day. Like, If I could offer you this and... You guys could get a coffee shop cracking in Hollywood. Like, it'd be cool. Because like, it's true. There really isn't a coffee shop here. No. That was the first thing I, I looked for, really, when I no. when I first moved here. Because it's like, you know, it's 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 one of those places where, like, a coffee shop is an easy way to kind of, like, build community. You know what true. I mean? Like, meet. Yeah, you meet know, people. You, it, like, just even the idea of seeing a familiar face, you know? Like, true. I'm from, I mean, I'm from Miami. I'm not far. But I moved completely like to an apartment by myself like I didn't really know anybody around and it's just the idea of like walking in and seeing like you or your brother every morning it's like okay well that making that connection you know and then there's also always something like so special when you walk in and they're and like either you or your brother you're like oh you want the want the chai latte with with it you know what I mean like so it's it really it's it's not like it does feel very like family and homey in here and you get a lot of actually you get a lot of families coming in here. Yeah, we do. It's which really is cool. so cool. I mean, we're actually known for not only the best Café con Leche because New Times voted us best Café con Leche, but we're known for our best hot chocolate. Oh, really? From, like, the younger crowd. Oh, nice. So it's, like, a pretty cool thing. Like, I was t- I was joking with my brother the other day. I'm like, yo, Dan, like, you want to hear some crazy stuff? He's like, what? I'm like, bro. Can you believe that there's little girls and little boys that are on the playground that are like, yo, you guys got to try this hot chocolate. <laughs> like, I go to this coffee place or whatever place, however they describe it. They're like, yo, they have the best hot chocolate because they'll come in and say it. They're like, I told all my friends about this place. And Aww. like, these are little people. <laughs> they're like seven, eight years old. I'm like, what? Coming out hot chocolate recommendations. Bugging out over their hot chocolate. Their parents are like, they wouldn't stop unless they came here for that hot chocolate. I'm like, yo, this is crazy. And my brother's like the best with it, bro. I'll sit back and watch my brother, and I'm like, yo, like, not only does it make it impossible for me to even top, which sucks because I'm like, yo, all these little kids come in looking for my brother. Like, they don't even care about me. They're like, oh, yeah, that's the brother. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> but he's just like, he's so good with it. And it's, it's awesome, man, that the kids can see that and feel that. Yeah. You know, I remember coming, to, I remember going with my, like, going to places with my parents and hating it. Right. You know? Yeah. Like, imagine going somewhere with your parent, like, 
having such a cool experience like yeah that. that's like i mean talk about building a community you know yeah, which true. is it's yeah. so which i think hollywood in general tries really hard to do like they have like the food truck night or whatever yeah, and like cool. they have the art and dania and hollywood mm-hmm. they just started that the art walks yeah and stuff so, so so it is important to have like a place like this that can hone in for everybody yeah, in the family true. the mayor comes in here and yeah hang out you know and it's just cool, man. You know, we get a, a a lot of people. People come in. They, oh my God, I haven't seen each other in years. Or their best friends, they didn't know that they even came here. And yeah, it's so cool, man. It's it's like an experience, both sides. Yeah, you know, it's it's really fun. How so? Between getting your space in the market, and this customer that's like i have this space i have this space i have this space how long was that process it was <clears throat> it was about five years wow because we just made a year at this shop no actually mm, yeah really about five years oh my god i'm literally so i yeah okay cool four years four or five years yeah yeah i didn't know this shop was so new yeah we just made a year oh my god yeah well i moved i moved up here in september in September, so last month we made a year. Nice, and you guys are so. Here's the n- other thing. It's like now, you know, talk about growth. You started with you started with a little machine that then grew into this booth area, and then now is the store, this shop, and now your menus are expanding. So when did you add like food to it? When we got the shop. Okay. Food at the farmer's market was just, like, way too much. Everyone does food. Right. So to just be another food person is like, yeah. nah. I'm going to just stick to what we know. Mm-hmm. So I feel like that's the smartest thing. And what kind of stuff do you have on the menu here? Small stuff. I mean, croissants. Best baked goods in town by a lady at the farmer's market. And yeah. We have a couple things in here from the farmer's market. Yeah, you guys collaborate like, a lot with the people yeah, there, which is not? so important. You yeah. know, we could be buying it from Restaurant Depot. Exactly. Or we could buy it from our friend at the farmer's market, which is also a small, you know? Yeah. Small business. Not only are you supporting a small business, but yeah. you're also just like, you know, paying it forward yeah. kind of thing. And it's cool. It's like, and it keeps the idea of things being fresh and things being like. It's true. You know. It, it's a, it's the mom and pop's idea, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's you buy locally. You, exactly. Yeah. So we do that. We got our bread from a local local person too, and that's awesome. But um, it's small things, toasts, small yeah. sandwiches. We can't do too much. We don't have a full kitchen, a whole HUD system, but right. we could put together some cool stuff. Yeah. And the menu's expanding. Like, not really expanding. I feel like over a year we kind of noticed what worked and what didn't. Mm-hmm. And we had a lot of problems putting the whole menu together in the beginning, but we just came up with a whole new one. So that's um, I'm so excited for that. And you just you guys just got your license. Yeah, beer and wine license. Beer and wine license. So that that's big. gonna be that's gonna be cool. Do you do you think that the the shop is gonna kind of have a little bit of a morphing vibe? Since yeah, I mean, beer sure. and wine, you're gonna definitely, have to definitely, definitely. We want to do. We want to do something really cool at nighttime, but it was crazy because we couldn't do a, uh, we couldn't get our beer and wine license originally because there was a church next door, so you can't be within fifty feet of really? a church or a school. Huh. So they left, and then we were like, okay, <laughs> and hey, this for the church come in. <laughs> yeah, do it now, do it now. Yeah, I love church and all, but damn. So, that, wow, so, I didn't know that. That's an interesting, yeah. I mean, I guess I, I I, it, makes sense for, it makes sense for, like, schools with yeah. a church. I mean, come on, don't they? They leave and get a drink anyway. They'd be in here. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, don't they, don't, don't you drink wine yeah, or something? I, don't know. I mean, I don't, I, know. I don't know either. But <laughs> that was, that was um, unfortunate, but thankfully now we're able to get that going. We want to do something cool with that. Yeah, that's that's awesome. Local and this, I'm, that's what I'm saying. Like this space is so cute. So yeah, like, it best. would be a great place to like do yeah. like little date night things and stuff. It's it's just such a such a cool spot. I know. Shout out to my mom for all the decorations. My mom was the mastermind of all this. Made my brother will disagree, 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 then just be like, all right, uh, let's just move this. Ready? Like, where do you want it? <laughs> it's like. So cool. let's talk about the family, the family dynamic, because I think, 
first of all, is it? Do you find it sometimes difficult to be kind of partnered with your fa- your family? Like you guys are so close. Nah, man. I don't know. I've always heard it was difficult. It goes through. You go through rough times, but I mean, I've worked with people that aren't my family my whole life. We go through hard times and rough spots with them too. Yeah. It's no different with yeah, family. Yeah, it, it like, might literally. be easier with family. You're not easier, but yeah. it's just like you you guys at least have known like know what buttons to push and yeah. what how to like. Yeah. So, and I mean, this is me and my brother at this point. Thankfully, mm-hmm. my mom and my stepdad were able to step back, you know, a little more and soon they'll step away completely and that's the main goal. Just letting them just ride off into the sunset. <laughs> nice. And um that's yeah, I mean, it's it's it's, it's cool. It's a lot of work and stuff, but it's. So what? What are your like duties as owner right now? Like, what did it like? Do you guys split split things up? As yeah, we're in the process of dividing things up. You know, what I mean, shout out to my brother. My brother is like such a such like a go getter man. Like he'll make it happen, and you know, I find myself sometimes just like falling back. You know, and I get a little comfortable because it's like, ah, older brother your big guy, brother. you know, yeah. and it's, it's a bad way to think, you know, I got a certain things that I need to, you know, step up on and do more of, but, you know, we, we try to divide things up and, you know, he'll do that. I'll do this, you know, nice. try to make it happen like that. But, you know, it's, it's, it gets tough, you know, it gets really tough, you know, and that's something that me and him you know, it was hard in the beginning, but I think we've gotten better at, like, we're not brothers back here. Like, you know, we're trying to get this done. Right. Like, we can't treat each other like brothers. Yeah. You know? So it's, like, even different from working with mom and dad. Right, right, right. It's completely different. Do you... But, it, I mean, it has tough times. Yeah. But, I mean, it's something that was, we're still learning. Yeah. But at the end of the day, no one's got my back like that. You know, then love, that's nice. Love is love. Yeah. You know, I have friends and all, but I love, love is like something different. Yeah. You know? And the fact that like, you guys, as a family, have just put so much heart into it. Yeah. You know, there's so much weight and and love in this idea and this shop and like what it represents. That I think, that must surpass. A lot of like the troubles that yeah, you guys have you know course, what i mean like yeah. and it's all built into it you know struggles and mm-hmm. pain and i mean it hasn't always been easy you right. know i saw my mom do it you know my mom raised three boys you know and she was her and my dad separated you know and it was tough you know and it got to a point where i'm looking at my mom just dug- juggle three sons and two jobs like i don't even know how the hell that shit is even possible like yeah. that put me at a point now where i literally think that women are super like superhuman like there's no way like i don't even know and it's like beyond like supernatural strength like it's it's wild but yeah. seeing the way my mom did it was like crazy and like yeah like, I what mean, motivation you know yeah i yeah. mean just to like do it mm-hmm. you know and it's like not even be tired and sweat you know, I mean, I never even saw her complain. Yeah. I mean, it's like, I look back and I'm like, that wasn't even that long ago. I'm not old. Right. <laughs> I'm 28. Like, I can remember when I was 10. Right. I can remember, you know. I'm not like, oh, my God, I can't remember. I remember my kindergarten teacher. You yeah. Know? But, like, how my mom did it was nuts, man. Me and my older brother, we were pain in the ass, <laughs> you know. And... You know, it was it was crazy. My mom worked day, my mom worked night, take us to school, take us to baseball practice, cook, clean. My laundry was done. <laughs> I don't even know. Yeah. You know what I mean? It really puts into perspective, I think, because I, I grew up with a single mom, too. It was just me and her, but, like, it, it really puts in, in, like, to perspective the idea of just, like, the hustle culture yeah. right now. You know, because I think I think I'm I'm 26. You're 28. So like, I think we're in a generation right now where like we're very much into like the idea of the hustle cu- culture and like hustling yeah. and stuff. But we're also 
as a generation, like complainers. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, it's like, true. It's true. I, like, I hustle hard, but I, you know, I mean, I, you've seen me. I walk in at like seven o'clock in the morning. I have like eye bags on and sleep. Please give me coffee. I don't even talk, you yeah, know? I'm not even asking questions. going to throw something at you, yeah. like, here, drink it. <laughs> yeah, you know? And it, and it's crazy to like, it's, it's nice to put into perspective, like, people like, you know, your mother and my mother who are just like strong women and just strong people and like man what am i complaining about yeah. you know I and it know. i think about that too like what kind of problems do i think i have like, yeah my god like yeah. i couldn't even i can't i don't know i tell you man it's so easy to drown in like a cup of water you know what i mean yeah so literally like, yeah. literally and it's just a matter of perspective and so and and yeah like i think, mean i'm thankful for that yeah you know i mean i, I know people that they've never gone through it you know, it's felt that, you yeah. know, and like holidays that were tough, yeah. you know, that, you know, <laughs> I mean, it's, 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 it's wild, you know, and I never say my parents failed me, you know, they did exactly what they needed to do. They did everything they could, Yeah. you know, but it was tough, you know, I'll never like, I'll never forget that shit, yeah. never, you know, and I'm always like thankful for it, but I think that's like really what like built everything, like just seeing that. And seeing just like that hustle and that drive and that just like love, man. Yeah. I'm blessed. Yeah. You know, I'm blessed for it all because it taught it taught me, it taught us, you know, my brothers, like, you know, we're we're built off of that and it's yeah. it's cool. It's something that we appreciate because it built all of this. You know, yeah. it helps with, with everything. Even our relationships, you know, they're built on that. Right. You know, there's people that they've really never struggled. No, I don't knock them, yeah. but they won't never understand the bond that you have. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. If you struggled, like you know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's, it's if you know, you know. Yeah. If you don't, you don't. And that's something that just I think we all get reminded of, and we've never even spoke about it, my family. Yeah. But I think that's what really like keeps it all together, the fact that we all know what the fuck we've been through. Yeah. You know, and shit was hard, but it built us. Yeah, it's it the, gives you it's that the drive, beauty. you know, yeah. It's beautiful, like, ugly madness. Yeah. Like, it's weird. I mean, that's, you know, it's it's one of those things. I, I've been I've been going through, like, existential crisis or whatever because my birthday just happened and now it's, like, <sighs> it's crazy to just look back and be, like, this time last year, this is where yo, I was, you know? Yo. This time five years ago, <laughs> yeah. you know? You know, like, you... It's wild. Right? You know, like, think of how... It's, you know, and it's so, it's like, like I said, it's so easy to just drown, drown in a cup of water, you know? It's yeah. so easy to, like, wallow in the things that are going wrong. But then you take a step back and you're like, oh, my God, look at this shop. Like, look Yo. at look at what we've done, you know? No. And, like, no. and and look at the people that are there, you know what I mean? Like, how lucky are you to have customers oh that, like, God. have followed you from your little booth all the way Yo. over here, you know what I mean? It's like, mind-blowing. Like, yeah. when I meet people that know us from the market, I have, like, a special connection with them. <laughs> like, I don't knock anybody that finds out about us. Like, thank you. But, like, the people that, like, oh, yeah, I've been to you guys at the market. I'm like, oh, my God. Like, I love you a little bit more because, like, you know, like, you know, where it where it came from. Yeah. People walk in and they think we just opened the shop. Right. You know, and no, there's it's also been... people that have been drinking our coffee for seven years right. in Hollywood. We've only been here for a year and a month. Right. You know, there's people that we've been in their lives for seven years, man. And it's like crazy. We've done kickball games. <laughs> like, we literally just like tell our customers, like, yo, guys, we're going to play kickball. Like, show up to the field. Bro, like, people show up. That's fun. Yo, it's crazy. I'm going to, I'm like planning the next one. <laughs> But it's so crazy. It's, yeah. like, so fun, man. Like, you know, and I think that's just everything. I think, like, your community is so important, you know? Right. Like, your neighbors, like, you know, it's... Especially, I mean, in the world we're living in right now. Yes. It's so... Come together, like, you know, yeah. meet meet people, like, talk. Yeah. Don't just get caught up in, like, listening and, right. like, watching, like, meet, you know? I mean, I don't know. I wasn't always even like that. You know, but my parents were, you know, and I, I'm thankful for that. I've always seen, you know, they've always been like that. My mom, my dad, they'll go anywhere, like, yeah. get in, you know, you know, have fun and, you know, make friends anywhere. They're both yeah. just like that. Some people are like that, and some people are loners. You right. know what I mean? I don't know. I, 
I fall somewhere in between. Yeah, it depends on the day. Depends it depends on the, the coffee. Exactly. <laughs> More, it, like, depends on what happened the day before. <laughs> it's, like, still, like, on my head or some shit. Yeah. But it's, like, it's, it's, it's funny, man. But thankfully, they've always been like that. You know, they're, they're just, like, just, you know, we're, we're all, like, people persons. Yeah. Is it, it crazy? stems from them. Is it crazy for you to think that, like, you, so, I mean, there are people that come in here every day, right? Yeah. Or every, or at least once Literally a week. Literally every you day know? there's some people. And, and you might not really know anything about them. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like, like, you know, like, for example, me. When I first started coming in here, I just started coming every other day or whatever. I would come yeah. in. And, like, for me, this place and you guys, just being able to, like, just see a familiar face every day became really comforting. You yeah. know what I mean? Even though, like, we never really talked or anything. You know <laughs> yeah, what I mean? Like, I it know. was just, like, give me my dirty chai, thank you. Yeah. You know? Or I, I, I think I was a little nicer for than that. For you to go. Yeah. You know, exactly. Like, yeah, but it's, it's just, it. like, how, like, do you... Do you realize that that's like such like no, you do. your family is such I, a, like an impactful I know presence in people's lives and you have absolutely no idea you know but you, you know I actually like I do have an idea and I and the thing is that like I appreciate it you know and I love it because I feel like I can make someone's day better or worse right with each cup and it's way bigger than how it's gonna taste. Yeah. I could literally like I could literally like someone can walk in and I can give them such an experience that I will give them the complete wrong drink and they wouldn't even care. They yeah. would be like, "Oh, yo, listen, like, you know, that's not what I got." They wouldn't even be bothered. They would just say it and they would still like love every minute of it, you know, yeah. and it's cuz it's just bigger than the cup. You know, right. it's like the experience, the fact that, you know, your day is some people their their day is just starting right you know it's like you have a bad experience getting a cup of coffee in the morning it's gonna ruin like it might ruin your whole fucking day yeah i'm i used to be like that yeah one little thing all day i'm pissed at everybody yeah. because of that one fucking barista bro <laughs> like yeah like you know like why the fuck you looking at me yeah i just woke up like yeah I'm stumbling over my words. Like, you know what the fuck I mean? Like, I know. I you can't. know, like, yo. No, like, I, no I know. I, I mean, I've I hit walked, a point I've where. I've walked in here so yeah. hungover, ready to, like, yo, go work. You know, and, and I've like, just been like, oh, my God. I tell people when I'm training them, like, yo, we're dealing with people that might be just getting out of bed. I mean, you never fucking know. Like, our job, it's bigger than just a cup. Don't be programmed like you're here just to make coffee. You're here to give people the fucking experience. If you can't do it. Cool, no problem. You just can't work here. Right. I don't care how cool your latte art is. <laughs> all that shit. Keep it. It's bigger than the cup. If you can't just give people more than just a cup of coffee, we don't want you working here. It's bigger than that. You got to be able to talk, you know? Yeah. I mean, make a connection. You know what I mean? There's no I definitely like, feel that. There's no, um, like, weird, like, standard to it, but it's just conversation is everything, man. Yeah. I can teach you. I can teach you how to make a latte in literally 30 minutes. 30, 40 minutes, I can, you know, I mean, as, I mean, depending how big you want to get with it, but you can teach someone coffee, you just can't teach people how to act, how Yeah, to you can't teach people personality. You can't, you yeah. can't teach that. Yeah. You know, it's, I don't know what it goes back to, you know, maybe their parents, how they were raised, I don't know. Yeah. But you can't teach certain things, you know, and it's just, that's big because we are aware that, you know, what we do, you know, the joy and all that, what people expect when they come in here. I don't think the regulars that come in here, I don't think they're really coming back every single day for the coffee. Yeah. They can get that coffee anywhere. Yeah. Not as good as ours. <laughs> I agree. But they can get it anywhere. Some places for half the price, you know? Yeah. So, like, you know, when you're coming here, it's just it's bigger than that. You know, and we, we have such appreciation for it. There's times where we sit down in meetings and, like, sometimes we're in tears talking about it that we can't even believe, like, how we can make that impact and how, you know, we, how everything just, like, happens. You know, I remember coffee when I was really young. Like, like, some of my first memories of it when I was young, 
My mom has a big family. I never saw my mom drink a coffee in a to-go cup when I was young. Like, this, like, running into Starbucks and ordering your coffee and, like, running out and spilling it all over yourself and, like, spilling it in the car and, like, you're burning yourself trying to drink it. Like, I've never seen that when I was young. The way my family, my aunts, and everybody drank coffee, it was a moment. Like, it was a time. Where is your mom's family from? Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico, yeah. Yeah, New York City originally. But uh, Puerto Rico, obviously, originally, all the roots go back. Yeah. But my parents are from New York City, but the background is Puerto Rico. Yeah. You know, it's a beautiful island, and shout out to, you know, the whole, the whole culture. And I mean, it's, it was just big seeing how, you know, coffee was, like how, how it is in my brain. It was just like, it's, it was a moment. We weren't allowed at the table when coffee was on the table. It was adult time. We knew it wasn't even like liquor. It's not even like the shit that's gonna get you drunk. They drink that at nighttime. Like, you know, know. coffee time was even at nighttime. Yeah, Don't get it twisted. Like, yeah, it could After be in the eat, middle of the night. Of, it could yeah. be midnight. My yeah. aunts and uncles at the table drinking coffee with cheese and crackers on the table. You know, it was a thing. And yeah. like, no kids were allowed to sit at the table. You go do whatever you want, do backflips off the house. <laughs> we don't care. Back up. Yeah. It was a big family. My mom got a big family, and it was just like, it was like that. It was so cool, you know? I remember, like, we go to, you know, you go to your aunts, your uncles, I was like, I'll play with all my cousins, obviously. You know, all the cousins were all together. It's cool, but, like, you already know, coffee's getting busted out. It's like, all right, we going outside. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yo, we already know. It's a serious time. Yeah, like, yo, we, we used to try to spy on what's going on during coffee time. Yeah. Like, shit was real. It was like a yeah. moment, you know? I, I never saw my mom just, like, pulling in drive throughs or at the racetrack right. getting coffee. Like, nah, she was drinking it when she was, like, chilling in a nice, you know, porcelain cup. You know, and I remember that when I was young. It was, it's crazy when I think back on it. It's so cool, you know, that I can remember it that way. And I feel like that's why I treat coffee the way I do. Yeah. Because I feel like it's a moment. It is know? a moment. And it, it, I definitely, I feel what you're saying, like, when I come into the I hate, you know? yo, you know, I be grumpy as shit when I have to drink my coffee in a rush. Oh, yeah. Think about it. All the times that you got to slam your fucking latte or your dirty chai, like, slam it. Like, you're shotgunning that shit. Yeah. Like, yo, it doesn't even feel right. You no. can't even enjoy it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, yo, different if you're just sitting down, you know, and you're sipping on it. Like, right. You know, I, that's why I say it takes better in a glass cup. You know what it is? I don't think it's the science. I think it's the experience. Yeah. It tastes yeah. better in a glass cup because you're not fucking running. You're not driving that's down true. the I-95. That's <laughs> true. You're just relaxing. Yeah. You're just, like, having your cup You're of having coffee. your cup yeah. of coffee. the only thing that matters at that moment. Yeah. You know? I mean, it's cool. That's awesome. You know, people come in and don't even use their phone. They're just like chilling and. I love that you guys have the sign. Yeah, yeah. we don't have Wi-Fi. What is it? So go make some friends. So, yeah. yeah. But I but I love that. You know what it I mean? It started at the market. We're like, pff, people aren't sitting down at the farmers market at their laptops. They're no. at the bar just like talking, right. chilling. That was the vibe. We're like, yo, we want that same vibe in our shop. Because. Uh, Again, we're in this generation where it's just, like, so hard to, like, make a connection I with know. people. Everything is, like, on our phones and, like, everything is, like, portable, you yeah. know, like like these microphones, you know. Yeah, like, everything true. is just, like, so go, go, go that, like, it's so important to have a space where you can just, like, connect, yeah, you know. it is. That's how coffee shops started. Yeah. You know, if you do the research, it started like that. You know, there's places to gather and, like, talk and got to the point where the government were like, yo, what the fuck is going on? What's everybody drinking? What the fuck is this caffeine shit? And why are they talking about, like, shit that matters? Right. Like, we got to stop all this bullshit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's how they treated it. Yeah. And it was a whole big thing. It's, it's at your fingertips. Google it. It's a cool-ass story, but that's really what it is. We see people come in and they build relationships, whether it's, Girlfriend, business, a friend, it could be anything. Yeah. Things start here and it's so cool. Yeah. You know, we'll bring vendors and we do events. Local vendors could set up shop and sell their stuff, you know, artists. Yeah. You do jewelry. 
Yeah, you guys collaborate a lot with people here, yeah, which I big, it's, man. which is we're still the small time guys. We just got a little bit of space to do stuff. Yeah, why that's not? Amazing. Why not still like connect? Right. Come on, man. We're we're in this shit together. Mm-hmm. And yeah. forget about you know, and forget about that. Yeah. So it's like, it's big. Yeah. We're like, it's you like know paying I mean? it forward, man. Yeah. Yeah. We're all together here. Shit, that's how I feel. You know, it's. Even like local coffee shops. You'll see me at any local coffee shop. I'm not gonna be like, oh, I'm not going to Cali Coffee. But it's um it's cool. I like the support, you know. I mean it's 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 big, you know, you work together. Yeah. We're all on the same team, man. You know, what is the competition? Just Yeah. I mean just room. and but that's gonna be that's something that's a quality that is gonna help you guys grow. Yeah. You know, like I mean, it leaves room for growth. Exactly. You can't be closed-minded. Exactly. Exactly. So knowing that, knowing all of these things, what is something that you would tell your younger self? Let's just say, let's say, okay, this you've been doing this K Rico for like seven years. Yeah. All right, ten years ago. So you're twenty nine, twenty eight. Twenty eight. Twenty eight. So eighteen year old Tim, what would you tell? <laughs> No man, people used to tell me all types of advice. I never took it. I probably even if I told myself advice right now, I wouldn't take it. Probably not. <laughs> probably not. I don't know. I think we just all gotta live. Yeah. You know, I I don't know. We all have our own experiences. Some people get locked up and do eight years in prison. You know, and some people just like, you know, they they kind of like learn. They go through minor stuff and they learn. Yeah. Or they you know learn from someone else's mistakes, but. I think I would just, like, I would tell myself to just, like, stay focused, be careful. You know, I think one of the biggest things that I didn't realize when I was young was how important it is to have, like, how important the people around you are. Yeah. I was always with the wrong people. I was with you the are wrong who people. you hang out with, essentially. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I couldn't, couldn't find that. But, you know, I would always hear that. Yeah. You know? And... Like I said, even if I could tell myself, I, would, I wouldn't I would ignore it. I would call my friend, the one I shouldn't be hanging out with, and I would just hang out with her. No oh, man. You know, not to knock any of my old friends, but I don't know. I don't know if I was teamed up with always the right people, and it sucked, man. Yeah. It kind of led to some bad decisions and bad things, but <clears throat> I think everyone just have to, has to go through their experience. Yeah. Got to go through stuff. They got to grow through stuff. I went through bad things. My brother went through bad things. So it's all about, like, you know? Yeah. But look at you now. Yeah. You know? It's a grind. It's the idea that, like, yeah, maybe not everything is perfect right but now. Like but like I say, I mean, shout out to my parents. They were yeah. they were going to buy a house out there by Ocala and build a little farm. They were like, you know what? Let's take a shot. My mom, she's willing to do whatever for us. But, like, it's just like my dad and my stepdad, you know? The fact that he just was like, you know what? I hope these guys are gonna make this happen, and it's, it's still a process. Yeah, you know, it's still going, but the goal is big. And it's way bigger than just this coffee shop in the market. Right. We got a lot of goals, and we're young. We're so, so young. <laughs> it's about making it happen. Um. So, what's something new that you, as a person, you have done recently? Um, I get caught up. Yeah, I get caught up in the same daily lives. Like when I'm not here, I love to ride my bike. I ride in different places: Fort Lauderdale, Miami. I ride fifty, sixty miles on that thing. Whoa! I just learned how to ride a bike last September. Yeah, it's <laughs> such an amazing feeling. Like it's like I don't know. I just ride. I feel like I don't even get tired. I just go. It's, it's the best feeling. It's like being yeah. high or drunk. Like. It's a great feeling. Yeah, but it's freeing. I don't know. I mean, new things. I can't really like think about what I could say as far as that. I mean, I've recently got into working out, being healthy, okay. eating less meat. Huh? Eating less meat. Yeah. You know, okay. Well, that counts. That yeah. totally counts. It's yeah. a process, though. Yeah, it's it's a hard whole, to do. It's a whole lifestyle, so yeah. I think it's kind of a big deal. It is. It's huge. You know, but I stopped. I stopped smoking cigarettes, and I lost the craving for meat. I don't know how or why that's even, like, linked, but 
it was like Christmas Day. I had just bought the pack, American Spirits, and I'm just like mm-hmm. smoking. I'm with my friend, mid cigarette. Like, I don't. Need, I just don't want this shit. I don't even know. It's weird. Yeah, that that's amazing. That's great. And I said it to him. He's like, Yo, wait till like New Year, New Year's Eve, make into your New Year's resolution. I'm like, so I have to like smoke and not want to smoke until then. Like, yeah, no, I don't want to smoke no more, bro. Like, take my pack. I haven't smoked since then. That's amazing. Well, yeah. that's that's huge. Congratulations. Thank you. But I like stopped eating meat for like two weeks. It's weird. It's mm. not even like I didn't want it. But it was like. I don't know. Like, I would have ate it, but I just didn't, like, care for it. I didn't yeah. want it. I don't know. It's like I lost the craving for it. Which is good. I mean, not a lot of red meat is not good for you anyway, yeah. so. So that was pretty dope, but um, I don't know. I mean, that, that I kind of just changed the way that I've looked at eating and, like, food and health. Mm-hmm. I guess because I kicked cigarettes and tobacco, which that shit almost kicked my ass dealing with that shit. Yeah. But my, I don't know. I don't know if it just like changed the way my brain was wired about food. Yeah. But I've become a lot more health conscious. I mean, it's crazy. Whatever it is that you put in your body, what that does to like to your brain, you know what I mean? Like how that, how that affects everything. You know, it's the idea of what coffee does to your brain, you know? know. It's like all it's the true. endorphins and stuff. Cool. So the last question is, what's something new you want to try? Something that I want to try. Like, what do you mean by that? Anything. Something new, like. I would, what I definitely want to do is, like I mentioned before, be more active in duties of running a business. Nice. Which is something that I'm facing. You know, at 28 years old, Mm -hmm. and just dealing with everything that that comes with, which I mean, it's crazy how much. But I gotta snap out of the comfiness of having a big brother that's willing to just carry the world if he has to. You know, Mm -hmm. so I gotta. I think what I really want to do is step up, you know, and do more, which is which is gonna be a it's gonna be a jump. You know, right? Believe it or not, but I think even just talking about it is probably like helping. Oh yeah, you know, I mean you're putting forward. it into the air, yeah. Yeah, so it's like for a while I've tried to like not you know face it mm-hmm. and be like no, you know, <laughs> I'm good. But it's time like, is now. All right, dude. Like listen, like you gotta you gotta step up. So, but it's it, it's cool. It's something like this requires a lot of work. So. Mm-hmm. But me, I think I just need to step up more as a person in this business, as a business owner. Right. You know? So that's something I want to do. And what I also want to do, which is really far from that, I want to do a fucking triathlon. Like, a triathlon. Oh, fun. Yeah. Yeah. So I feel like mentally, like, it's something that I've been preparing for. Okay. But I haven't even really talked about it. Well, now you've, now you've yeah, said it. So now. Now it's like now it's on now it's on on the on the internet. Yeah, but it's something <laughs> that I've been thinking about recently. Like a random ass thought. I was on my bike and I'm like, yo, I should do it. Yeah, like, why not? I swim, I run, I do all of that. Like, why not do it yeah. in like a? You know, I love to compete. So I'm like, shit, I have to look into that. That'll be fun. Yeah, That's awesome. It's cool, but so. I'll do that one day. I don't <laughs> care if I come in a hundredth place. Oh, but I mean, but just even doing just it, to do just it. do it, you know? <laughs> yeah. Um. So okay. So where can can we find K Rico on social media? Instagram. On Instagram, what's your handle? Uh, K Rico Coffee. K Rico. Right? K Rico Coffee. And it is spelled K A Y R I C O C O F F E E. Nice. And K-Rico do you guys Coffee. have a Facebook page or anything? Facebook as well. All right. Instagram all of and Facebook, that, we're heavy. All of that's going to be available in the description box, right? where the title page is cool well thank you so much um i will have again all of the information in the description box check out Rico at the green and yellow market at, or at their local location in hollywood florida and the thank farmer's you so market m- location is only open weekends it's only open on weekends yeah. the we'll farmers on a monday yeah, yeah. All right. And you are you open on Mondays here? Yeah, seven days here. Seven days a week at the shop. Come visit because it is so cute, and it's just a great place to have an experience. Thank you. 
Thank you so much. No problem. Thanks again for listening to the We're So Young podcast. Like what you've been hearing? Help spread the word. If you haven't already, subscribe to the podcast on iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, or wherever you get your podcasts. Rate, review, and tell your friends about We're So Young. And don't forget to follow us on our socials, at We're So Young Podcast on Instagram, at We're So Young Pod on Twitter, and We're So Young Podcast on Facebook. Let's all get inspired to try new things together. That's it for now. Tune in on the 1st and the 15th of each month for new episodes. Until then, step out of your comfort zones and try new things. Because we're so young.